everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking through some of my favourite products for short hair. Now in particular I get asked how I make my hair look so full and so thick or that it is thick. Well actually the secret is it's not. I have a lot of hair but it's not very thick. So I have to create that volume and create that thickness and that illusion that my hair is naturally that way in order to get that volume, especially at the roots in front of my hair. So over the years, throughout the different hairstyles I've had, I've always been a fan of voluminous, thick, you know, really, really vava room hair. So I'm gonna show you some of the products that are my favorite for that. So, first things first, I'm starting with the shampoo and conditioner I use. Now, my hair isn't too fussy with which I use. It doesn't get too greasy. However, I do wash it every day. So for this, I use the L'Oreal LV range. This is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I use both of these every morning before I dry and style my hair and have no problems with it using it like every day. I would say only use a bit of this, but I do leave it on a few minutes whilst I'm like washing my body, enjoying my shower, um, and I never have any problems with grease. It's got um, phylloxane in it and is specifically designed for fine and thin hair, it says here. Um, the secret to thicker hair um, and it just looks enriched and thicker straight straight from the off really it just me you know it just makes my hair look really thick really shiny and really healthy so they're my top hair products and um, i also find you only need a little bit so they do last me quite a while now this little beauty is the Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Weightless Conditioner for shorter fine hair. So I use this um, on days where I really want my hair to look really super glam. Um, I used it today on my hair so you can see it is looking a bit thicker which is fab. Um, you know if I'm going somewhere and want a bit of a treat for my hair I do use this. It says it leaves weightless manageability to shorter than fine or limp hair. So this in particular is aimed at shorter hair, um, which I again think is brilliant. There's not many um, hair products specifically for women on the market, which does have, you know, specifically de designed for sh short hair. So I would definitely recommend this. This came in my Marks and Spencer's beauty box um, from December but I'm pretty sure you can get it online and I'll link it below okay so moving on to hair products for after I've got out of the shower this is the Rockaholic Amped Up Mousse. So this is again a volumizing mousse. I always put something like this in my hair um, before I dry it. So it could be this or another favorite is the Sebastian Texture Maker. This is available at most um, sort of hair care stores like Home Bargains I think in the UK and Savers or B&M Bargains. So that's the bed head by TG. And this is the Sebastian Texture Maker. I get this from the salon that cuts my hair. Um, you can probably get it online, but this adds a little bit of um, hold and texture to your hair. So it's a bit like a wax effect that it gives your hair after you've dried it. Um, so you can't just run your hands through your hair and it's really soft and silky. It's got a bit of hold and a bit of like that stickiness. Does that make sense? Stickiness? I don't know. But I love this if I really want some like messy tussle texture. Um, this is fantastic. It is pricey, but I would say it's worth it because it lasts forever. If you've been around here a while, you'll know that the um, Bedhead TG, the best range ever for short hair, who's with me, uh, Small Talk, Thicker Fire Energizer and Styler is another one of my favourites. 
whatever hair care hairstyle I have I do love this product um, again a little bit goes a long way it's pretty mid-range you can get it reasonably cheap and it smells insane I just love it this is probably my everyday hair product I use this most days as opposed to like the mousse or the texture maker they're my sort of evening out I sometimes combine them as well so I would combine these two but this is my everyday go-to volumizer and hair thickifier which is exactly what it says on the label you know um, and it, it does it does what it says on the tin really yeah gives life to limp hair and I kid you not that is what my hair is another top tip is I use my straighteners for everything now I'm not saying using heat on your hair all the time is great obviously it's not but for that lift at the roots, nothing nothing does it better. I personally like to sweep my hair back after I've dried it with the straighteners and then give it a bit of texture and hold. And I just think that's the best way to create that sense of volume in your hair. Even if it's fine like me, short hair obviously is better for that because the shorter the hair, the more volume you can create, I also find. So finally I'm just going to move on to a few of my favourite styling products. Again you'll probably know of these by now, I mention them all the time, but um, there is a new new one on the block which I've probably not mentioned before and that is the VA5 Dry Texturising Spray. Texturising Spray are short haired girl's best friend. Now you all know I love the Got To Be Made For Mess which has unfortunately been discontinued. but we move on and I found a winning combination and this is what I've got in my hair at the moment so the dry texturizing spray is what I use um, at the front of my hair and throughout the top section and that just creates that sense of volume or you could all alternatively use like a dry shampoo something like that which basically just gives that extra texture um, and yeah, for effortless undone styles with texture. And I combine that with obviously my putty or wax that I use to separate my hair, show you the different lengths and texture. Uh, for this, I like the L'Oreal Pixie Stylista. This is the Pixie Cream Wax or the Got To Be Made For Mess one. Um, I've shown that in a few videos, so I just wanted to show you a new one that I like. And of course the Fudge Urban. Um, this is the Matte Headmaster and I did use this on my last video but I just wanted to really explain that using this gives that volume, it gives that texture and yeah it's dry, it's got that hold so I find I use less hairspray but you can also like move your hair about. You don't just need you know to not touch it for the rest of the day it's got that texture um, and hold and obviously the shorter my hair is I find um, the more volume I can get so it's very short at the moment we are getting a bit of length at the size lockdown hair is kicking in now um, but yeah I find the combination of a powder whether that's a dry texturizing spray or um, a hair powder for volume let me see if I've got one actually. Here we go. This is the Got To Be Powerful, Powderful Volumizing Styling Powder. I promise you I'm not actually sponsored by Got To Be. Um, it would save me a fortune if I was or anything like that, but no, I buy them all myself. And this is an oldie but a goldie. Uh, it's brilliant. VO5 do a good one as well, actually, this brand. Um, you can get them in Boots and Superdrug. So yeah, any of these babies, pop a putty on, pop your texturizing spray, spritz of hair, spray to spray, you know, any of the little baby hairs down, and you've got your volume, you've got your sleekness, and no one will know that you don't have voluminous hair or thick hair naturally. As I always say, you gotta fake it till you make it. 
so guys i hope you enjoyed this video um as always i love doing it i love talking about anything to do with hair short hair hair care beauty and makeup so drop me a lovely little comment in the comment section below if you've got anything further you want to know or any video requests and i will do my best to get them sorted for you so thank you for watching and i'll see you soon bye